Recruitment fraud is when scammers prey upon the eagerness of candidates to find work by creating fake job opportunities that trick applicants into revealing personal information, sending money, and thinking they have a job. Recruitment fraud is unfortunately part of modern job hunting as these scams are becoming more and more sophisticated. I'm Deandra Goodman with Flex Jobs, the number one job site to find remote work from home and flexible job opportunities since 2007. In this video, we are discussing four signs to look for when it comes to recruitment fraud. But be sure to check out the blog post below for an even bigger list. Number one, asking you for money. Simply put, don't send money to a potential employer. Legitimate employers and hiring managers don't require an application fee or expect you to pay for training. Employers that ask for money upfront are not legitimate. Number two, upfront requests for sensitive information. Sensitive information like your social security number, date of birth, or bank account information, should never be a part of the early recruitment process. Eventually, your employer will need this information for taxes and benefits enrollment, but only after you have a written job offer and sometimes not until your first day on the job. Real hiring managers want to examine your resume, not your driver's license. So be suspicious of any recruiter that's asking for personal information as part of your initial application. However, if the employer is paying you for a test project, which sometimes happens, they will need at a minimum a way to send your payment. Check the company out thoroughly before handing over any sensitive information. Number three, generic company email addresses. A recruiter's email pops into your personal or work inbox, claiming they found you via social media or your resume on a job board. Should you be suspicious? Generally, recruiters use the job board or social media platform to communicate with candidates instead of their personal email addresses. That said, communications outside these platforms happen. So check out the sender's email address. An address from a real representative tends to include the individual company's domain. Mary Smith at GE.com likely works for General Electric, but RecruitGE at gmail.com is probably bogus. Number four, only using text and online chats. As technology evolves, so do scams, and some recruitment scams have migrated to text or online chats. Before clicking on a link or accepting an invitation, do your homework. Most legitimate companies don't reach out to recruit via text unless you already applied on the company's site and opted to receive text messages. The same goes for using chat platforms. Though some companies make online chat a part of the interview process, like the role is for an online customer chat agent, it's usually not the entire application and interview process. And of course, trust your gut. If you get a sneaking suspicion that something isn't quite right with the job, you're probably right. Trust your instincts and do your homework to ensure you're not victimized by a scammer. If you enjoyed learning about ways to spot recruitment fraud, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more job search advice. One other great way to protect yourself from recruitment fraud and job scams is to join FlexJobs. All of the job postings in our database are hand screened and thoroughly vetted to ensure every job you apply to is 100% legitimate. Join FlexJobs today. FlexJobs, find a better way to work.